A student becomes enamored with his English teacher, and the two embark on a passionate affair without regard for the consequences. In winter 1943, Easy informs his classmates that his groin hair has grown three quarters of an inch. They rush to the bathroom to see, but the school bell rings, so they decide to look at it later. As the students return to their classrooms, Olga stares at Stieg Santison, who lives in the same building as her friend Lisbeth. Later, while the English teacher, Viola, checks the male student's attendance, they busy themselves with Easy's hair measurements, passing around a piece of chewing gum and sharing notes. The teacher then accepts Albert as the class leader since he was previously one. When she calls Stieg's name, she finds out that he's also from Stockholm like her. As the new teacher writes on the board, Stieg and his classmate have a heated discussion about women. During their break, the lads rush to the bathroom to measure Easy's hair and realize he won their bet for having the longest. However, one of his classmates disqualifies Easy, claiming Jews have more hair than regular people. Stieg defends Easy, saying that since he can't compete, he can get his money back from the bet, which his classmate begrudgingly relents. During class, Stieg's classmate notices flies and asks the former to kill them. After class, Viola calls Stig to stay and inform him that she's aware of his classmate's shenanigans. Even though she's impressed with his slingshot's aim, she tells him to clean up the mess. She also asks him to read the note they were passing around. Stig is too ashamed to read it aloud, so Viola grabs and reads the note, but becomes embarrassed over her student's ignorance about lovemaking. While Stig is cleaning above the chalkboard, he looks down at his teacher and admires her exposed neck. After his task, Stieg returns to his apartment building when he hears loud music playing from his place, exciting him as he believes his older brother has returned from the war. He rushes upstairs but finds his mother, Stina, alone. His mom then informs him that his brother sent a letter and that his leave has been indefinitely postponed. While getting the letter, Stieg turns off the light in their Christmas village to conserve their batteries. He then reads his brother's letter aloud and they discover that his transfer to the submarine is imminent. This worries them due to the older son's claustrophobia. Later, Lisbeth pretends to run into Stieg to get his attention, but he's late for his job at the theater, so he immediately leaves. Due to him being late, the movie is delayed so he can sell food, much to the audience's displeasure. Because of this, the projectionist warns Stieg that this will be the last time he'll delay the movie for him. But the latter bribes him with chocolate. The next day, Lisbeth and Olga admire Stieg from afar. Afterward, they turn on the radio so Lisbeth can practice the Stockholm dialect to impress her crush. At the cinema, his brother Siga surprises Stieg. Siga admits he failed the submarine qualification exam, but he'll retake it as he wants to be part of the underwater unit. Stieg is worried about his claustrophobia, but his brother brushes it off. Siga then sees his date Luna and throws her a chocolate bar. A hopeful Stieg wishes they could go home together after a shift, but becomes annoyed when Siga arrives home much later instead. Although angry, Stieg reveals he hasn't told anyone that his brother has returned. Siga then attempts to turn on the desk light, but Stieg stops him since they have to conserve energy. The brothers then excitedly discuss Siga's upcoming boxing match in the Navy. Elsewhere, Stina uses a rubber duck to stop the snores of their father, Seymour. Siga hears it and smiles as he's truly home. The following day, Stieg reads one of Viola's dictionaries in the classroom when the teacher arrives. He explains that he likes looking up unfamiliar words and asking for help from his previous teacher, so Viola gives in to his request. Stieg then returns the dictionary underneath Viola's desk, using it as a chance to check her out. She notices his gaze and turns to find him staring at her. Viola shyly looks away while Stieg leaves. During recess, Stieg looks up at the school window, hoping to see Viola. Lisbeth attempts to get his attention by asking about his pet turtle, but he ignores her. Meanwhile, Viola passes the same window and sees Stieg looking up at her. Bothered, she walks away. The following morning, Stieg spies on his teacher at her home and tries to catch her attention in class. During their break, he reads the dictionary again while his classmates leave. Once alone, he returns the dictionary to the teacher's desk and smells Viola's chair. However, some of his classmates catch him in the act. Later, since Albert is in the nurse's office, Stieg volunteers to go with Viola to the map room. While heading up the stairs, Stig notices a loose handrail and tries to fix it. Viola comes to his aid when she sees the math teacher nearby and pushes them against the wall to hide. Excited by her actions, Stig kisses Viola, which she reciprocates. The pair then go to the map room to complete their task when they hear someone entering. With tension heating between them, they quickly hide behind the maps and make out while a science teacher searches for an anatomical model nearby. However, the bell interrupts them, so they quickly stop. In class, the two can't stop thinking about what happened. Albert then returns after class when Viola informs him that Stieg will return the map. However, the class president insists that it's his task, much to Stieg's irritation. 
Later, the students hear a plane flying overhead and go to the window to check it out, but their teacher scolds them for disrupting the discussion. After school, they go to the airfield to observe the warplanes. His classmate notices that Stieg looks ill, so the latter uses this chance to leave. He goes to Viola's flat and asks her what he did wrong. A shocked Viola admits he's done nothing terrible and lets him in her apartment, where they kiss. Afterward, the pair sit on the sofa, where Viola instructs Stieg not to come by unannounced and to use the kitchen stairs to escape as her husband may arrive unexpectedly. Elsewhere, Kel collects milk cans then leaves a woman's camisole on a fence. He soon arrives home, revealing that he's Viola's husband, so Stieg quickly hides behind the door as the former plays a classical song. When Kel pours a milk can's contents inside the cuckoo clock, he attempts to grab a towel outside but is spotted by the latter. Much to Stieg's surprise, Kel thinks that his wife is tutoring him, so the student plays along before leaving. Viola then appears and is shocked to find Kel home but is relieved that her husband isn't aware of what happened. The two continue indulging in their passion in Viola's flat and the map room for the next few days. One day, Viola shares about her wealthy father and asks Stieg about his dad to get to know him more. The latter reveals that his father is a private chauffeur for executives but used to hunt moose. On another night, Stieg is distracted at work since it's also the night of Siege's boxing match. His manager then arrives, scolds him for not wearing his hat, and pushes him to sell food even though the audience doesn't want to buy any. After work, Stieg finally goes to the arena and is ecstatic when his brother wins. Later, Stieg visits Viola and is about to join her in bed when Kel arrives. He quickly hides and flees when the coast is clear. Unsatisfied, Stieg grows restless at home. The following day, Stieg and Viola walk together at school but go separately when they hear his schoolmates coming. After class, the student returns to Viola's house to surprise her with flowers since it's her birthday, but finds the apartment empty. Kel suddenly arrives with a bouquet, but suspects nothing when he sees Stieg in the kitchen. The husband then plays Tchaikovsky's Romeo and Juliet and checks the time. He holds up his glass by the cuckoo clock's door and as soon as it chirps, Jin spits out from its beak and onto the glass, amusing Stieg. Kel reveals that it's a trick to impress customers, then continues rambling about his job as a salesman. He admits that he finds his real name boring and uses Frank with his clients, since it makes them think of Frank Sinatra. The student just nods along, amused by the odd character. One morning at her place, Viola departs for class, leaving Stieg a note to stay since Kel is away. Before class starts, Viola accidentally reveals that Stieg is absent to Albert, who's confused about why she knows, so she immediately lies that she met his mother earlier. During their break, she rushes back to her flat to make love again. One day, Kel makes Stieg listen to his collection of classical music while he rambles about nylon being an awful material for women's garments. Stieg later returns home with one of Kel's records and plays it. However, Seymour hates it and stops the recorder, causing the angry son to fight him. Soon, Kel catches Stieg walking around the house in Viola's robe. To the student's surprise, the husband has always known about their relationship but didn't do anything since he did the same shortly after their wedding. Stieg then returns home and finds a letter from Siege, where he decodes his brother's secret message stating he's fine aboard a submarine. Days later, Stieg and Kel quietly sit together and listen to classical music when they hear a radio broadcast of the German dictator. A drunk Kel laments that he can't understand his speech, so Stieg tries to calm him down. On another day, Viola finds the two playing soccer with the other tenants. She observes them for a while before she leaves. Eventually, Lisbeth prepares something on her bed before joining her family as they attend Stina's birthday dinner. Stieg gives his mother a new toy rubber duck as a present, making Stina laugh at their inside joke. When Stieg leaves his seat, Lisbeth follows and pulls him away while the others are distracted. She leads him back to her bedroom, where she offers herself to him. She assures him not to worry as she's prepared everything, including protection. However, Stieg is too flustered to move, making Lisbeth believe he's uninterested. Hurt, she hurriedly dresses up and tearfully tells him to leave. Days pass and a bothered Stieg is in Viola's flat listening to classical music when the woman asks him to turn it down. Despite being angry, he complies and asks Viola why she settled with Kel. After revealing that she married Kel because he wasn't after her father's money, Viola admits she can't leave him, knowing he'll spiral into depression if she does. However, Stieg questions Viola's motives and turns the music louder. Soon at school, Stieg passes Lisbeth but ignores her. Later, he visits Kel and is surprised to find him drunk. From the newspaper beside him, the student discovers that nylon garments are gaining popularity in America. 
Bothered, he tries to reassure the salesman it's just a fad, but Kel becomes frustrated and passes out. Viola arrives and wants to use this chance for them to make love. However, Stieg pities her husband, so he places a blanket on Kel before leaving, hurting the lady. During class, Stieg writes his answer on the board when Viola discreetly unbuttons her dress to make him look. She then secretly shows him a note to visit her later, but he excuses himself. He sneaks into the lady's locker room and hides inside a vaulting box, where he spies on Lisbeth. Stieg manages to get her attention by aiming at her with a slingshot, so the latter tells her friend to use the bathroom first before they leave. This lets her discreetly climb inside the box for private time with her crush. Later, the next class rolls the vaulting box into the gym with the two still inside, leaving them no choice but to stay. The pair finally escape the box after class has ended. Lisbeth is amazed at how knowledgeable Stieg is about intimacy, but the latter lies that he got it from working at the movies. The lady is happy to have her feelings reciprocated, though the man doesn't share the same enthusiasm. At home, Stieg hears an alarming update about the explosion of the submarine Ulven on the radio. He anxiously checks Sige's letter, confirming through their secret code that his brother was aboard the same submarine. Stieg becomes devastated but hides his tears as soon as Tina returns. Soon, he receives Sige's last telegram before the explosion and drinks to calm himself. Later, he hears another update on the missing soldiers when he realizes that his mother is home. He quickly goes to the kitchen and tries to drown out the radio by turning on the faucet. But Stina overhears the news. A shocked Stina realizes that Stieg already knew. He admits that someone from the Navy delivered the news earlier and sincerely apologizes to his tearful mother for not telling her sooner. However, Stieg tries to reassure her that the Navy has sent ships to search for the soldiers. Elsewhere, Viola waits for Stieg when the cuckoo clock chimes and spits out gin on the table. Angry, she pulls it out and cries. Desperate to see her lover, she goes to the theater where Stieg works. Meanwhile, Lisbeth and Algar are also in the cinema watching a movie. Lisbeth opens the closet and is horrified to see him with Viola, quickly slamming the door on them. At school the next day, Stieg tries to apologize, but Lisbeth is disgusted and wishes never to see him again. Elsewhere, Viola is drowning her sorrows in alcohol when Stieg arrives and snatches the glass from her. She tries to kiss him, but he pushes her away as he realizes how toxic their relationship has been. Furious, Viola smashes the wine bottle and threatens Stieg, forcing him to succumb to her wishes. Days later, Viola meets with the school principal to voice out her concern about Stieg. After class, she talks to Stieg privately, but he quickly tells her it's over between them. However, Viola declares that she has decided to fail him because he was absent without a parent's note. In truth, however, she can't stand him being in her classroom. Furious, Stieg chases after Viola and pushes her into the storage closet. He asserts that he wasn't present in her classes because she instructed him to wait for her in her apartment. He threatens to tell the authorities about the relationship, but Viola argues that no one will believe him. During the next class, Stieg writes on the chalkboard when Viola pulls up her dress to seduce him. Not having it, he kicks her table down, so the teacher then calmly orders him to leave. Later, Stieg is called to the principal's office, where he's informed that he'll be repeating the class next year. Refusing to be defeated, he runs back to the classroom to get Viola's gradebook, hoping to get the note she secretly wrote for him as evidence of their relationship. However, the teacher had ripped the page out already. Next, he visits an inebriated Kel and begs him to talk his wife out of failing him, but the latter remains passive to his pleas. Disappointed in the man, Stieg storms off. Making matters worse, a Navy officer arrives one day and takes Stieg to the hallway to formally announce Siga's death. During this, the other students enjoy their break outside when a plane dumps gasoline on the grounds. Someone then sets the fuel on fire which causes injury to some students, but Stieg is unfazed and leaves. A tearful Stieg then goes to the cinema where he watches a newsreel about the Ulven submarine disaster in an empty theater. The empathetic projectionist sits behind him and tells him he'll turn off the reel soon so they can go home. Soon, Stieg and his parents attend the funeral of his brother and the other soldiers who perished. On the train ride back home, Stina apologizes for not riding to the school to excuse Stieg's bad grades and attendance, thinking that her son's performance was hindered by working late nights and worrying about Siga. However, she does sense something else is wrong, but Stieg says he'll tell her when she's older and wiser. Noticing Seymour has disappeared, Stieg goes outside, where he finds his father tearfully singing and hugs him. Soon, during the school ceremony, Viola hands out the certificates when Stieg barges in, walks right up to her, and shows her his member. He then leaves without taking his certificate, and Viola cries. Stieg breaks into the school and grabs all of Viola's dictionaries. Finally, he leaves the premises, taking with him the knowledge it can offer. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.